Are you a weeb? Do you like samurai? Are you the sort of person who tries to unironically argue that katanas are objectively the best melee weapons to ever exist on Earth? Are you the sort of person who loves to be able to heal themselves after every kill in a video game? If you said yes to any of the following, I have the guide for you. How Ian's doing, I'm an Ian, and this is my TF2 How to Kill Streak series, where we look at the best and worst TF2 has to offer, and I show you how to get a kill streak with it. Because everything is a bad idea until it works. Today, we'll be covering my preferred Demo Knight Blade of choice, the Half Satuichi. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now that's a katana! The Half Satuichi is a melee weapon in Team Fortress 2 equipable for both the Soldier and Demo Man classes, and can be crafted by combining two Islanders and a Reclaimed Metal in the crafting menu. However, like always, I recommend either trading or waiting for a random drop if you wish to acquire this weapon for yourself. As for what this weapon does, it's a sword, meaning you have a greater degree of range to hit your opponents with than you do with normal melee weapons like the frying pan, at the cost of having a slower deploy and holster time compared to it. However, what makes the Half Satuichi unique compared to the other swords in Team Fortress 2 like the Islander and the Claymore is 1. It can be equipped by multiple classes, not just the Demo Man. 2. You gain half your maximum health on kill with this weapon, making it great for topping off your health pool between fights. In fact, this thing can even overheal yourself if you're actually above half your health when you get a kill. And 3. When you holster this weapon without getting a kill first, you take 50 damage. Back in my day, you wouldn't be able to sheath this weapon whatsoever without getting a kill, but now you have options. The downsides attached to this weapon mean that if you're the sort of person who wishes to swap between your weapons regularly, you're better off using any other melee weapon. As a result of this, the majority of players who use this weapon do so as a full demo knight, since the downsides of this weapon simply don't exist if you're using your melee 24-7. I mean, you still can't effectively play the game whatsoever if the enemy team has a pyro that knows how to air blast, but that's just an issue with those of you who decide to go full Demo Knight rather than an issue with the half Satuichi specifically. Plus, the booties boost your maximum HP, which in turn also boosts the healing properties of the half Satuichi since it is based on how much your maximum HP pool is, which is especially nice since this weapon can overheal you if you're above half health when you get a kill making this a great weapon option for players like myself who prioritize getting the killstreak ball rolling as quickly as possible, unlike the majority of Islander fans in this game who prefer the ball to have the highest top speed as possible and don't care how hard it is to get rolling in the first place. I suspect these people also play heavy characters in Mario Kart. As for what shields to use, I've already done an entire video on those, but to briefly cover them for those of you who wish to go full Demo Knight, the Charge and Targe is unquestionably the worst of the three options since it works best as a hybrid knight option giving you enhanced resistances. The Splendid Screen works better for those of you who want to be charging frequently and hard into your opponents for as much damage as possible, whilst the Tide Turner works best for those of you who like to be able to have as much mobility as possible whilst charging. Personally, I prefer the Splendid Screen, however if you like the Tide Turner's enhanced mobility, by all means go for it. As for those of you wondering about trying to use this weapon alongside the Sticky Bomb launchers, I strongly advise against it since you take 50 damage for switching from the Half Satuichi to any other weapon without getting a kill first. This realistically means you're going to pull out your melee weapon hoping to get a cheeky kill on someone to restore your health, only for someone else on your team to steal the kill and force you to have to choose between losing 50 health that you may or not be able to afford to lose, or trying to go for a melee kill in a game where everyone has a gun. If you're trying to go for silly taunt kills, you might be able to pull something off with the Sticky Jumper, but otherwise yeah, I advise against using the Sticky Bomb launchers entirely when trying to use the Half Zatuichi as Demo Man. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight! Sun Tzu said that! Since soldier combat is so heavily focused on the rocket launchers, you seldom see this weapon used by soldier mains whatsoever. This is because while in theory you can use this thing to top off your health as you rocket jump around the map, in practice you'll pull this thing out in the hopes of getting a kill, only to have it get stolen by a scout, sniper, or spy where then you'll be shit out of luck, as you are effectively forced to choose between pulling this weapon away and taking 50 damage, or trying to go for a melee kill in a game where everyone has a gun and you no longer have the element of surprise. Regardless of how you like to proceed in that situation, chances are in the next 30 seconds someone's being sent back to spawn and it's almost certainly going to be you. 
As a result of all this, you will almost never see this weapon being used on soldier players except for two kinds of situations. One is with new players who just got it from a random drop and don't know what it does, and the second more common situation you'll see this weapon being used by soldier players is those who wish to cosplay a samurai on the group key. Since this weapon does give you the power to one-shot other players using the same melee as you, this can be quite useful if you're hunting for the Outdamned Scott achievement, since you can effectively one-shot all the demo knights who decide to use the half Satuichi whatsoever on the server. If you decide to go about attempting this, I do have a few words of advice. Firstly, bear in mind that while you can one-shot players using the half Satuichi, they can one-shot you as well, and they will not be hesitant to remind you of this fact. When it comes to what secondaries to use when doing this, I have two recommendations. The Battalion's Backup and the Conch. The Battalion's Backup is pretty straightforward. It increases your maximum health by 20, which in turn increases the health restored from getting a kill with the half Satuichi by 10. The Conch, however, is slightly more useful due to 1. It gives you health regeneration, meaning you can heal yourself even if you're struggling to get the final blow on opponents because that one scout or sniper keeps kill stealing from you. And two, once you manage to get the banner's effect off, you get a speed buff, which can help compensate for the soldier's lack of ability to rocket jump when on Degroot Keep. If you decide to try to go for the half Satuichi as soldier outside of Degroot Keep, I recommend the rocket jumpers since they will allow you to get in and out of situations far faster than you would be otherwise, especially since if you're trying to go for kills with your melee weapon whatsoever as soldier, you weren't playing seriously in the first place, let's be honest here. However, even if your goal is to go for silly trolder kills by using a weapon other than the Market Gardener, you still have better options than the sword that can't get random crits whatsoever. All in all, I give the Half Satuichi a sustainability out of 10. This is the perfect weapon for those of you who like going for melee kills but struggle to keep your health topped off between said kills. However, if going for melee kills isn't your game plan, you'll wish to use other weapons than the Half Satuichi. That's all for now though, like the video if you did, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video, comment what weapons you want to see me cover in the future, and consider checking out my community tab where I host polls to decide what weapons I cover in the future. While they are deciding what I do next, what you comment decides what ends up on those polls. With all that said, I've been an Ian, you have been you, and this has been my Team Fortress 2 How to Kill Streak Guide to the Half Satuichi. And stay tuned, the Baker's Bazooka is coming up next.